now request the distinguished delegate of North Korea to make a statement. Very respected Madam President of the 71st United Nations General Assembly. Before to begin with, I need to convey the sincere gratitude and greetings to the President of the United National General Assembly for being elected as the President of this session and greetings to the newly elected President, newly elected Secretary General, Mr. Antonio Guterres from our beloved leader, Marshal Kim Jong-un. Madam President, the devil is here, the smell of blood is here. As Hugo Chavez rightly commanded, Madam President, who is this devil? Who is this devil who spreads blood throughout the world? Madam President, that is none other than the United States of America and her pity allies who do exploit the world, who do exploit terrorism for their economic motives. Madam President, I would like to comment that the USA is the greatest threat to the global peace and stability. We can take the example of the Taliban. Madam President, when USA needed to penetrate to the Middle East, they created the Al-Qaeda and the, the comment of the then President George W. Bush that we worth oil than blood must be read in this special context. Madam President, when this Al-Qaeda became a threat to their own country, they destroyed it. Between this destruction and creation, they created about 21 million orphans, 56 million widows, and 2 million of corpses. Madam President, who will pay for it? Madam President, now the world is in the fringe of Islamic State terrorism. Who, from where did they get fund from? From where did they get the arms from? The answer is here. The answer is sitting right in this hall. How could the champions, how could the, a country claiming the champions of the human rights business with the worst violators of the human rights? Madam President, the Caliphate Uncle Sam Alliance fringes the world into an another terror. But a crescent in a star, the crescent of terror, the crescent of tear, and the crescent of blood, the star of imperialism of terror. America is the custodian of terrorism in this world. Madam President, America believes that they own the world. They pretend that world is a private property of them whose deed is kept at the Oval Office. And they intend so. The fact that we are not equal to America is true. But we are not less than America. As the representative of the victim states of America-sponsored terrorism, North Korea likes to say that America is the threat of the world. Madam President, not only America, but her pity allies must also be considered on sponsoring the terrorism. That is, the France. Though France is a victim of the Islamic terrorism, they do sponsor terrorism in the sub-Saharan countries. The conflict of the anti balaka and Salika in the Central African Republic is the best example for France-sponsored terrorism. I cannot believe that a pity country, a newly independent country, a people living in manifold hardships could get arms from, uh, from their consultations. So it is France who sponsors terrorism in the Central African Republic. So before we condemning terrorism, we must condemn the sponsors of terrorism, that is, cut the roots th than the branches. Madam President, the world need to live in peace. So as a representative of North Korea, I appeal this United Nations General Assembly to pass the resolution to designate America as the sponsor and authority responsible for the international terrorism. And we support India in her actions for the Comprehensive Convention on International Terrorism. Thank you. Long live Marshal Kim Jong-un.